Welcome everyone to the Predictive Playbook. This is the NCAA Basketball Edition. It is the first show of the season. And I'm going to get things started right away here. I'm looking at both games in the Madison Square Garden venue in the Jimmy V Classic. Let's first look at Villanova versus Syracuse. This is a renewal of the famed Big East rivalry. Once uh, one time ago, Syracuse was a member of the Big East. They then darted for the ACC. And these two teams haven't played each other since 2014. They have played 73 times in their his, historic program history, with the Syracuse having a 39-32 edge over on the win-loss ledger. Syracuse's zone hasn't been very effective at all this season, and I, I expect it to get better. But playing a zone against Villanova with the sharpshooters like Gillespie on the on the floor. Um, you'll see for yourself that it, it's going to be uh, you know, shooting fish in a barrel, so to speak, from that long range. If Villanova pulls Syracuse out and widens that zone defense, uh, then the, the, per, the interior paint area is going to be also available for Villanova's big guys. So I think Villanova here is the pick. I think they, they win comfortably uh, by double digits. They are currently an eight and a half point favorite. Um, and only... 40% of the money is on Villanova. So with that fact and uh, the public betting uh, the, the dog in Syracuse, I, I, I like Villanova even more because of that fact. Uh, the Orange are looking for their first three-game win streak of the season, too. Uh, they dropped um, a 112-110 uh, double overtime win. Uh, no, that was a loss. I'm sorry. And and they edged Florida State 63-60 over the weekend in their ACC opener. So their two-game winning streak is Indiana, double overtime, followed by Florida State. Both very close, very emotional, very hard-fought wins. And, um, you know, I think that too plays into this. Villanova is a, a superior team. They are ranked number six in the nation. Syracuse is not currently ranked. And... What else can I tell you here? This is the the nightcap of the of the Jimmy V Classic. Uh, so you can also uh, bet on this following system I have here. You're going to bet against underdogs of three and a half to nine and a half points, inclusive of each of those numbers. After two straight close wins by three or fewer points against an opponent that is on a three straight wins by double digits or more. So three or more consecutive wins by double digits or more is Villanova. And as I mentioned, Syracuse is coming off two straight close wins of three or fewer points. So it all points to Villanova tonight. And like I said, I expect them to win by double digits. Let's move on to Texas Tech versus Tennessee. This is the first game of the Jimmy V Classic. And I, I love these uh, basketball games simply because I, I am a, a cancer survivor, a multiple myeloma, and uh, the Jimmy V Foundation is is well presented at the Dana Farber, which is Harvard Med up in Boston, as well as the New York area, uh, too. So in this matchup, we have um, you know a team like Tennessee, where um, you know, Chris Beard left for, for Texas. Tennessee is losing uh, their arguably their best players last year, super athletes, Keon Johnson, Jordan Springer, and Yevs Pons to the NBA. Um, you know, they're still expected to compete for the SEC title uh, down the road. Um, you know, Mark Adams is in his first year back in the, in the, uh, the head coaching position. Um, he was the assistant for beer for years, and they're coming off their uh, their first loss, a 72-68 setback against Providence, which is a sneaky good team again this year, just like they were last year. And it just seems like that team, Providence, is always one that um, you know, may not get 25 wins in the season, but a lot of their wins are against ranked opponents, especially in the Big East. Texas, Texas Tech shot only 38% from the field in that game, and I, I'm looking for them to bounce back big. Uh, their leading scorer, Bryson Williams, shot just one for nine in that loss. Uh, and there was, definitely, there was definitely a lack of chemistry uh, on display with not one player in Texas Tech having more than one assist. Uh, so it was a game where they were 
not passing. It was basically staying around, watch the um, guys go one on one. And you can rest assured that's not going to happen in tonight's game. That is for sure. Um, so the Volunteers head coach, uh, Barnes, is 20 and 36 against the number after having five or six of his last seven games. Um, plus, he is one and nine against the spread over the last three seasons in that role of having won five or six of his last seven games. Uh, Tech is 11, two and one for 85 percent winners. Uh, when making 37% or more of their three-point shot attempts. And this is from my predictive model. So what we have here is a situation where the models are you know, 80% and higher, that they're going to make 37% or more of their three-point shots. Just knowing historically that when they have done that, they are 11-2 and two with one push for 85% winners. Let's move on to the last and final game of this threesome for tonight, it's Virginia James Madison and Harrisonburg, Virginia is going to be literally on fire with excitement, uh, bringing in a, a Virginia team that is also in the same state. It's a state, not a state rival, but it's a state program. And we all know how important recruiting is for these schools. Uh, Mark uh, Byington from Georgia Southern is now in his second year at James Madison. And uh, made great use of the transfer portal, transfer portal this past year, adding uh, former Kinesius and Seton Hall guard uh, Molson and ex Winthrop guard Foden. They're both scoring in double digits, and this team is vastly different than it was last year. Uh, this is a game where James Madison is a five and a half point home underdog with a low total of 124 and a half. As we know, statistically, the lower the total, the easier it becomes for a dog to to cover the spread. And uh, in this particular game, uh, I I personally like James Madison's team total over. Uh, I haven't seen that as of yet, but you can you can pretty much figure out where uh, you know it's going to be right around sixty points. And uh, I I think they easily get over sixty. And uh, I do think they have a very solid chance to win this game. James Madison is 13 and four against the number when playing against a excellent ball handling team like Virginia is. They're only committing, they're committing fewer than 14 turnovers. Uh, James Madison is seven and zero when playing only their second game in the week. That means they're well rested, and this is spanning the last two seasons. And 16 and five following a game allowing 65 points or less in two straight games. So it really does add up to James Madison here as a live dog and a sprinkle on the money line would be uh, recommended, especially knowing that my predictive models have a um, have Virginia in an 0 and 9 against the spread run when they allow 61 to 66 points in a game and games played the last two seasons. So there again, team total over, whatever that is going to be when it's released for James Madison, and then James Madison plus the five and a half and a sprinkle on the money line. So to recap, we're on Villanova minus the eight. We're on Texas Tech uh, plus the four and a half right now I'm seeing. And uh, you could also, you know, for like a quarter unit, do a money line parlay with, uh, with all three or just Texas Tech and uh, James Madison. That would pay off pretty handsomely as a two-team money line parlay should both dogs win outright. So that'll do it for today. This is Mon Tuesday, December the 7th, 2021. Thanks for stopping in. Make sure you get over to sportsmemo.com and take advantage of all the subscriptions that I have out right now that are discounted in a significant way for the holiday season. And then make plans to come back and join us tomorrow. We'll have the NFL show, the college football show, NBA with Ron, Ronald Kabang, and uh, another two-minute video that I will embed into a tweet, which is gaining a lot of popularity of late, and I'm very appreciative and grateful for every one of you that watch these shows. So on behalf of myself, sportsmemo.com, waitertalk.com, and the Predictive Playbook shows, may all the wins continue to be yours. Thanks for watching.